Can you hear me now and can you see my slides? Yes. Perfect. Well, well thanks, Lacey. Thanks, uh, Maureen, uh, for joining me. It's, it's wonderful to be back. I hope everyone's having a great conference. Um, and this is really an exciting session for me and for everybody at SPIN. Uh, and as we spoke on Monday, SPIN is, is really truly a, a patient organization. The patients are involved in everything we do. Um, patients have been involved in this from the beginning. And in fact, um, Maureen, who's here with me today, was involved in starting SPIN and played a big role in that. I mean, I had many, many discussions with Maureen about when, when we were gonna do something to, you know, to, to deliver things to patients, to get things to patients, to meet needs, to support support groups and so forth. And so Maureen was really around the table, <clears throat> one of the driving forces in getting SPIN off the ground, um, garnering support with the patient groups across Canada and everything we've done since then. Maureen uh, chairs the uh, patient advisory group with uh, Karen Gottesman and has since the inception of SPIN. So it's a real, real, and Maureen's a great friend as well, I should mention. So it's um, a real pleasure that uh, <clears throat> a couple of years ago, our leadership group in SPIN decided that we really ought to have an award to honor the tremendous just contributions of many people. And this, the, the wonderful thing about this, it really recognizes people have done so much for SPIN. Uh, the downside is that we have to pick somebody, somebody each year because there's so many people are making incredible contributions again in every single project we have we have people from the community people living with the disease uh, we're sitting in the rooms with us the virtual rooms now and designing what we're doing picking prioritizing what we should be doing and so forth so uh, we started this in 2018 and unbeknownst to Maureen the rest of us on the committee just decided that that she was on the committee and so forth that we thought she should be the new inaugural recipient but that it was a little bit uh, off. So we decided, we decided again, without Marie really knowing it, that we would name it, name the award, the Marine Salvation Inspiration Award. And I think that there's, there's no, no better uh, name for this award and no person more uh, deserving of this. So uh, with that, we, we launched in 2018, the Marine Salvation Spin Inspiration Award to, to honor people in our community who have, you know, given them themselves and helped move our community efforts forward. Um, in really important ways. <clears throat> and Maureen, did you want to did you want to discuss uh, our first award award winner from 2018? Absolutely. Well, Youp is uh, I consider Youp a personal friend. I've had so many interactions with him over the years, and he is that smile you see in his photo is so indicative of his approach to everything he touches. He is passionate and intelligent and committed. I mean, I don't know how many miles he racked up between the Netherlands and Paris working with the two docs, uh, Luc Mouton and Serge Poudreau, who were very much, uh, I'll say, hand specialists since Scleroderma. But uh, for those of you who have seen the hand module, basically you um, filmed it, edited it, put it together, and he's always turning his mind to creating another tool that makes life easier for scleroderma patients. Um, to say he's committed is an understatement. And it's an honor to call you my friend. So he is more than um, deserving of the award that I really personally think should be the Brett Toombs spin inspiration award. But, uh, um, anyway, there's, there's no doubt that you is uh, uh, tremendously deserving of acknowledgement of all of his efforts. Um, they're just too numerous to mention throughout uh, um, the European community, the SPIN community, um, just uh, anything to uh, make lives better for scleroderma patients. He's been very committed to. Mm -hmm. My congratulations to you again. Well, thanks, Maureen. So today, today is a double. Today is a double header. It's like if anyone who follows baseball knows that they're having this COVID pack season. They're for the first time since we were kids are playing double header games, you know, two games in the same day, I think sometimes. They used to do in the 70s when I was growing up. But in any case, uh, we, we were going to announce our 2019 recipient at the <clears throat> Scleroderma World Congress in Prague, which got canceled uh, because of COVID. Um, and we wanted to hold it off and this is a, a good venue to do it at the Canadian Congress anyway. So today we're going to announce both our 2019 and our 2020 awardees, and I'm just just thrilled, just excited to, for both of them to to uh, be recognized in this place. Maureen, would you like to start? 
Certainly. Um, 2019, um, our award um, goes to Catherine Fortune. And uh, again, Catherine is, I've known her for more years than I can count. Um, from the day I met her, her can-do attitude, her can-do attitude, her positive energy, her her passion for making a difference for custom for patients in any way, shape, or form. Um, like you, she's traveled extensively all over the province, um, back and forth between Montreal and uh, Ottawa, uh, Ottawa and Montreal, I should say. Um, so she could participate in the, I mean, really numerous projects that she's uh, uh, been involved with, with SPIN. I, I'm not sure how many uh, of the individual projects, but I know her, uh, um, her, her commitment there has been, I'm going to say, at least six different modules, six different programs. And um, that takes time, energy, and, and passion. And uh, for those of you who are fellow sclerosis patients, you understand that that energy sometimes can wane. But uh, this lady with the soft, gentle voice, she's anything but timid. And somehow she seems tireless. Um, Catherine, it's an honor um, to um, have you announced as the SPIN Inspiration Award recipient. Congratulations. And congratulations, Catherine. I mean, we couldn't do what we do without you. And, um, you know, it's interesting, everyone we're talking about today, I, I really do consider a friend and um, is your great friend. I think that's one of the, you know, in my own research program at McGill, I'm involved in several different things. And uh, sometimes people ask me, what is my favorite line of research? And on it to be, not that I was lying before, but to be honest with this and, and to it, uh, I, I always say that this is my favorite group to work with just because I, if you, the kind of people I meet here in the community, including Catherine, the next person I'll be talking about, uh, just become wonderful friends over the year. And this is just, just a wonderful community. The, the way people in school are going to support each other, the <clears throat> patient organizations and so forth. So Catherine, it's been a thanks for, I can't see you right now. Again, this is one of these odd things about this format, um, but thanks for all you do. And, and with that, I'll move on to, to present, uh, I, I'm thrilled to present another friend now uh, who I didn't know until you know three or four years ago. Uh, Laura Diaz is served as executive director of the Michigan chapter of the Sclerosis Foundation for many years. And Laura is a, a just a wonderfully skilled and highly trained uh, clinical social worker. And, you know, as we were building our SPIN SLED program, which is a program to provide education, support, training to support group leaders, to people with scleroderma who are delivering on all the support groups that you all uh, take advantage of. Um, I believe it was Robert Riggs from the Scleroderma Foundation Leadership said, so we ought to talk to Laura. It's one of those people that as soon as we got on, I got on the phone with Laura for a little bit, I said, okay, Laura, not only do we need her advice, we need to get her to see if she can do these training groups. Uh, she's just, just outstanding. So it's one, one of those things you realize right away um, and, and I realize, we realized that right away. And we've, we've not only never regretted it, uh, we, every single day we are reminded what, what good luck we had in, in uh, meeting Laura and what a good decision it was to encourage her to do this. And we're also reminded of her tireless work and dedication, a theme that keeps coming up. Um, Laura has uh, trained all of our support group leaders. She worked with uh, Violet Conrad, who does the French group, so she could do that. So Laura has trained over 100 support group leaders through the SPIN SLED program, and that is ongoing. That's, that's continuing to grow. And these are people who are leading groups in Canada, uh, in the United States, and across the world. I don't know how many countries there are right now who have been through the program, but there are, there are quite a few of them who have been through the SPIN SLED program. Laura, beyond just the, the, our 13-module training program, has developed uh, monthly post-trainings teleconferences where people who have been through the training can come together continue to learn from Laura and support each other. I, I don't have enough, uh, enough good things to say you know, about Laura and, and uh, Maureen talked about can-do attitude. And again, Laura says yes and pitches in whenever she can. She had a really important role in our SPIN chat program this summer that, or this spring that we, and uh, just to put it in perspective, I, I, some days I don't know how you did it, Laura. I mean, you'd have Two, a couple of spin slide groups going on and a couple of chat groups going on and just juggling when you be to be aware of without even considering how much work went into that and what you, I'm sure you had to do with your own schedule uh, to make this work. So, so Laura, thank you. Um, 
thanks thanks to everything you do for spin and uh we will be uh sending you your award as you catherine as we will yours uh, we'll, we'll be getting it to you in, the, in this COVID world i wish we could uh, get, hand it to you and give you a big hug uh, but but we'll send it to you and thank thanks for everything you you do um and that's i think that's all we had maureen did you want to say anything else before we close yeah no congratulations laura i'm i'm so excited to see your work being honored um catherine um, Laura and Yoop um, really embody the dedication of our volunteers um, to make a difference for other patients. And so on behalf of the patient community, I, I thank you for your efforts. Congratulations. And so I guess in a closing word before we turn it back to Lacey and the rest of the con conference, um, you know, we, we do really thrive on uh, engagement. So if you've ever thought you wanted to do something, and it's not easy, I know, I know we're living with scleroderma, get a hold of us. I had our email up on the first slide, but if you contact Lacey and the other organizers, they can get it to us, get uh, your, your contact information. Uh, it's just spingeneral at gmail.com. Or you go to spinsclero.com and, and there's, it's listed there and get a hold of us. So we'd love, we love to have a chance to get to know you and to work with you. And uh, thanks to, again, to uh, Laura, Catherine, and Yoop. And thanks, Lacey, for allowing us to, uh, and the rest of the Sclero community who's putting on this wonderful conference for allowing us to present these awards here. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you both, uh, Maureen and uh, Dr. Toombs. I'm just going to go back to sharing my screen here. Bear with me, everyone, please. Uh, of course, we want to offer our congratulations to, <laughs> there we go. I'd like to offer our congratulations to both Catherine and, uh, and to Laura. I've had personally the pleasure of working with both of them in the last few years, and I couldn't think of two uh, better deserving recipients. So congratulations to both of you.